store is just across the street. Case the place or mask up right away. Your choice. Mask up, game on. What was that noise? Over. Control? Yeah. No, it's nothing. Just checking to see if you're still alive. <laughs> Keep an eye out for cameras and guards. I like it when people make themselves useful. Let's see what's inside that vault. The really good stuff is in the VIP area display cases. Alright, so now that you've seen that gameplay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the skills that I've been using as well as we're going to be doing a guided run explaining step by step what I was doing to be able to achieve that uh, challenge. Um, so first of all, for skills, this is what I'm using. I was using the Infiltrator Aced, uh, mostly for the quick fingers, which is incredibly important, as well as for Bagger. Uh, I'm using Scapist, which uh, gives me rush after sprinting for at least three seconds, even though I don't think this actually does anything. I don't think there's any point where I actually sprint for three seconds. Anyways, Manipulator, just to tie up hostages, but uh, this used to be something that I used to do in these runs, to tie them up, but it is not necessary. This is not necessary at all. Um, I'm also using Grifter Tier 1 and Tier 4 to answer radius quicker, that's incredibly important. And for Close Quarters Combat Specialist, I use for the Soft Assets, which allows me to move 5% faster when using a Human Shield, which as you've seen in the gameplay, there's a certain uh, part of the run where we're using a Human Shield, so this adds a little bit of speed. Now there are other perks that you can use that will increase your speed, some of them I don't have unlocked yet. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much what I'm using. So now let's go into the map and let's talk about step by step what it is that you need to do to be able to do this in under two minutes completely solo. All right, so first things first, you're going to obviously need to do two different runs. One where you just go and gather certain bits of information, such as the code that we use for the door. And after you get that information, you then go ahead and restart the heist um, to be able to actually speedrun it. Okay, so two of these spawns work for this particular challenge. That spawn that I just conveniently got again, and that spawn that spawns all the way in the alley. First, I'm going to talk about this spawn here and how to do it with this spawn, and then we'll talk about the alley one. It's a little bit different than this one. So first of all, when we spawn here, what we'll want to do is to trigger rush. And with that uh, skill that I have that I forgot the name right now, once we hit somebody, once we touch one of these civilians, rush will trigger like this. You see, now rush is triggered. Now I have another skill that every time I have rush, the Jiggler skill, this uh, this skill is called Jiggler, I can just lock pick it in one go and I can open it, right? I don't have to actually go and do it like four different times before I'm actually able to open. So you spawn, you run into a civilian, it can be one of those guys over there by the red van or it can be one of these guys leaning against the wall. You run into them, grab rush, open this, then the guard will be up here and as you've seen, you can just crouch past them. 
you sprint down and you're gonna need the code for the door. So to get the code for the door, of course, we don't have it right now since we just restarted this. What you're gonna need to do on the first run before you're actually speed running is you're gonna wanna walk in here. You're gonna wanna walk in here. Um, so you're gonna wanna go into this computer and you're gonna wanna grab the code. In this case, the ID or the, the passcode is the ID number employee of the month, which in this case, if you've seen my last video, the code can be in one of three locations. It can either be the whiteboard number. It can either be over here in the VIP room table, this 80834, or it can be the employee number, which in this case is 1764, which is the number that we need to be able to open the vault door as you see right here it's the employee of the month okay so that's the number we need now we have that number 1764 now we know how to open the vault the door and we know where the phone is the phone is in this location so these are the two bits of information that you will be requiring to do on the first run before you attempt to speed run know where the phone is and know what the code is now we can go ahead and restart the heist. Of course, I still will not be speed running again. I will instead just do a guided speed run. Yeah, this won't be sub two minutes. It'll, it'll take a bit longer just to kind of show it to you guys how to do it. So like I said, when we start up, we're going to run against some civilians, open that gate and crouch uh, past the employee. So we'll run over here onto the civilians, trigger rush. Jiggle pick, lock pick it, wait for him to get a bit closer, walk right past him. The code was 1764. We open, we get in, we mask up. The cop is gonna be right behind this board. Boom. Shoot the camera. While we have rush, we lock pick it again. Pull these two things, run over here, answer his radio. Okay, now let's take a pause here. As you saw in my gameplay, this door was conveniently open. But it doesn't matter because this will add like a second to the run. And as you saw, my run was at 53, I believe. So we had several seconds to spare. So it doesn't matter because we'll have rush and we'll jiggle pick it on the first go. Open the door, grab the things. And by the time you're running back, his radio will then activate. And then you can just interact with it and continue. Okay, now let's go on to part two. Go ahead and do right now is restart again. All right, so let's go on to the part two just to make this uh, timing seem a bit more correct for the guide. That's why I restarted. So trigger rush, lock pick, up creeps up, crouch right past him, code 1764, open the door, mask up as soon as we're in, take out the cameras so it doesn't mess up our run, lock pick while we still have rush, pull this lever, wait for the radio, Answer that radio. I think this is a pretty shitty system. Run over what here. I call you when I need something. Should be running. Otherwise, uh, look for the civilian. The so the civilian is in the worst spot. This is the worst spot that the civilian can be at. Uh, you might even want to restart if the civilian is there. It's much better if he or she is in the hallway still. But all the way in the lunchroom, this wastes us several seconds. So we push that person to open that we grab the phone while he's pressing the button and we scan the red key card open the safe break grab the rare stone toss it over here scan this QR code kill this cop kill this camera lock pick with the rush open open grab jewelry we don't answer this second radio, by the way. We don't worry about it. We just sprint across. We don't waste those precious seconds. Go over here. Tell this guy to get down. I don't. I actually don't think. I don't know if I interacted with him properly. Go. Grab the jewelry. Let all those radios uh, ring. It's just not a problem. So. Um. So basically, for part two you've seen what happened so basically we'll come up we'll grab the civilian make him push the button as soon as he's pushing the button speak with the phone or search the phone 
come over here, open this, break, grab the stone, and we want to throw the stone here. The reason being is that I was throwing the stone out the window, and that wasn't working because this cop was seeing it. And I also attempted throwing the bags here, but then this cop would spot it too early, and we didn't want to do that. So what you'll want to do is throw the stone here, okay? Now, now, okay, we'll keep going. Now, when that happens, when that ha when he, we throw over here, the cop shouldn't have been upstairs all the way over here. The reason why he, he was over here is because we had to grab the civilian all the way in the lunchroom. But ideally, the civilian is going to be by this water or coming up the hallway. And we can grab the civilian, throw him onto the button. And by the time we do all this and we throw the bag here, we still have enough time to scan this before the cop is up. Now, we want the cop to see us because the cop seeing us gives us a rush. And with rush, we can lockpick this in one go, lockpick this in one go, and it's a lot faster. So every time we get spotted by a cop, we gain that rush because of the skill we have. So we actually want that person to see us and we want to kill him, right? So we want to kill him and we don't want to answer his radio because we don't want to waste several seconds on answering his radio. And as you've seen, after that, after we open everything, we grab the boxes or the bags and we start running. We break these and we can take the bags onto the van. What's going to happen is there's going to be a civilian here and there's going to be a cop here. This civilian you saw me, I, I pretty much failed this. You have to tell that civilian to get down. You can smack him or just tell him to get down, you know, as you're sprinting across. Basically, you jump out of the window, boom, smack his ass, throw the bag in, run back. And a lot of the times, the cop is going to be right here. As you saw in the run, in the speed run, I throw the bag and the cop is right here. So I just kill him right there and I, can, I proceed with uh, grabbing the bags. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then we just run back, grab the bag, run back, grab the bag. And that's it. That is the entire run done in under two minutes. Now, the other thing I was going to talk about really quickly is if you get that spawn, what you'll want to do is you want to run in this direction. When the game starts, you'll want to run, mask up at around this point, climb up the white van, come over here shoot out this window, drop onto the van, drop in, boom, okay? And then it's business as usual, you know, where we uh, we run. It's like my other guided video, which I'll post right here in the screen, and I'll also link it in the description box below. It, it applies the same way as that video. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys uh, learned something from this. I hope you can do this achievement just like I did. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.